What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Co's Corner. If you're new to the channel, this is a channel all about reselling and what it takes to get started. Alright, so in last week's video, we really left out the what sold, so I do want to add that back in on this video. So these first couple items, they sold during the week, just a single item here and there. I'll just put an image here. One of them was just a two-pack of waterproof cell phone cases. We actually sold them for $5 plus shipping. This isn't something I bought to resell. It actually just ended up being extra items we had laying around the house, still new in the package. Another item that sold was an Ed Hardy t-shirt. These are a good bolo if you can get them for a low enough price. Some sellers, they know how much they paid for them originally. A little bit on the higher end side as far as the t-shirt goes. So they don't, they're not going to let it go for a low amount. So in this case, we actually picked up four or five shirts from one lady in a garage sale. And she just bundled them all up for, I think, $2. But we'll just call it $2 for five items. So we probably have 40 to $0.50 cents in this t-shirt. I accepted an offer and it sold for $22.50. Alright, another random item I found. Whenever I go to thrift stores, Goodwill mainly, if I do see sealed DVDs, I will try to buy them if they do sell for at least $10. In this case, I sold this two-movie pack of Bicentennial Man and Mission to Mars. I paid $2.16 after tax for this. It ended up selling for $9.99 plus shipping. So we made about 5 bucks on that movie as well. Alright, so two things that sold over the weekend. We do have this t-shirt right here. It's already folded up in the package. I believe y'all saw this in one of our very first videos. This is just a Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl 30 championship t-shirt. This one is one that I got for, I believe, a dollar. And we ended up selling this one for $15 plus shipping. So we're going to pocket $12, $13 on this after fees because we are going to make a little bit on the shipping as well. All right, another item that sold is actually our GoPro Hero 7 Silver. It's bundled up in here with a few items. I don't want to open up too much, but as you can see, it's the GoPro as well as a bunch of accessories. This one I ended up selling. See, I already moved it. I knew that was going to happen. I originally bought that on Facebook Marketplace a while back for $160, and we sold it on eBay for $150 for the full bundle. So we'll probably get about $130 back on the $160 we originally spent. In this case, we'll call it a profit because it wasn't an item I bought to flip. It was just something I had for personal use. All right, so that is what sold this week. This might be the first week, if my calculations are correct, that we actually crossed the $200 mark since the summer started. We are entering the end of July. Right now it is the 26th of July. I think now we're ending, we're getting out of the summer slowdown. I do expect business to pick back up, especially with all the extra work we're doing to get our inventory levels up. We did go garage selling yesterday. It was a beautiful day. We did find a couple neighborhood garage sales. So we'll jump over that footage now. Hey, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Doing pretty well yourself? I'm making deals. You see something you might like? Let me You'll know. make me like it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get it in your truck. <laughs> awesome. Uh, do you have any... Uh... Oh, nice. What you looking for? Uh, I look for a little bit of everything, but sports cards, which is what I saw on your ad, and then video games are like my my top two things. Got a ton of sports cards over here, and I'll make you some great deals. And also, she's bringing down more. Okay. Oh, you have a YouTube channel? I do. Yeah. Yep. Uh, YouTube channel. It's Coast Corner. Coast Corner. Coast Corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you do garage sales? And garage sales, stuff like, like American Pickers. Yeah, yeah. Do you watch that stuff? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. I, 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 oh, yeah. So you're like Cincinnati Picker and yeah, all those I got, guys. I got a daughter and a wife. I don't get to... <laughs> I'm doing anything. Yes, sir. Oh, oh hey. More. more and more and more. Yep. She's got more. She's bringing down two. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You're not going to find a Mike Trout rookie. Okay. You're not going to find a... Uh, you know, but there are autos in there. There's parallels. There's old cards, new cards. There's. Um, are you the collector? Or she's the collector. I'm the collector. Okay. No, she's are you still a collector now? I, I am. I'm just thinning the herd. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's it's hard to collect right now. Well, I've got a son who is uh, who's special needs, and he loves cards. And okay. So, unfortunately, there's a lot of guys that I know on like facebook and instagram that know that and so they just send him mm. comments which is fine because he loves to go through them but it's like it's overwhelming it's oh like, yeah it's just so, too much so this is i don't want to way too much i know right <laughs> it's not all common just put them on the ground um it's not all commons i i mean i just went through and started grabbing stuff 
I mean, it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to get a Cunha bat down or anything like that, but, you know, and I collect too, but, you know. Well, I'll grab the right section here. Yeah, there's, there's some good ones in there. There's, I mean, I'm not, I mean, there's junk era, there's, yeah. there's modern, there's ultra modern, there's, you know. Cards right now is just so crazy. Yeah. Like, because I collect for myself. And I'll buy some cars, and you'll look online, and the price is just more than you'd ever think. And yeah. right now, it's, I don't know if you try and buy right now, but you just can't buy in you stores. Can't, yeah, can't All the flippers are stuff. Yeah. buying stuff. So yeah. I kind of haven't really collected much in a while unless I find stuff at garage sales, because that's really yeah. the only place you can find it without paying eight times the price for just a new box exactly. of cards. Yeah. <laughs> and any video games you guys going to be selling at all? Even uh, like older systems or new systems? or. Uh, as old as Atari to as new as you know what Stevie on the stay right here I got a I got a I got a PS3 with some games in a box that I was oh I'll take a look at that yeah if you want, I think it's a PS3 so it's just a hodgepodge of stuff it's a PS3 it's a couple okay. of games it's controllers a remote to the PS3 just ten for this one ten for that and then ten for the rest of it so twenty bucks for the whole box if you want it okay I'll do that okay. Uh, how about we? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There may be some other games in there too. Okay. There's a couple things in here. How much do you want for this box here? Twenty, 20 bucks. Okay, I'll do that. How much for the uh, Polaroid here? Dollar. Dollar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take it back inside. So. Fair enough. Tell me the name of it again. Coast Corner. C O, C -O apostrophe S. C -O apostrophe S. Corner. Awesome, I appreciate it. See how good today is? <laughs> it's been a good one. I think I'm ready to settle up. Okay. So yeah. it was 10, 20, and then I added a dollar here, so 31, and then however much you want for these two. Uh, so were you at 31? So 31 with these two, this, and then I have these three. Oh, for these four. Um, 30 bucks. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well yourself? Doing great, thank you. Yeah, these are all $2 on this side, and then this side is all $1. $1 on this side? Yes, sir. Cool. Uh -huh. Awesome, appreciate it. Okay, no problem. Let us know if you got any questions. Yes, sir. Thank you. You have a good one. Hey, good morning. How are y'all doing? Doing pretty well. All right, I'm gonna take these four books from you. How are you this morning? Doing pretty well yourself. Cool. Thank you so much. You as well. Good morning. Good morning. So we can pick this up without spilling. All right, perfect. Oh. I'm going to do these four. Okay. So those are 25 cents each? Yes. Two, three, there's actually five. I'm going to put one back. Pick them. Pick five. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. And then I will 
give you your neighbor's dollar. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Mm. Oh, very organized. I like your signs. <laughs> I've done this before, so I realize it's a lot easier to have things marked. It definitely is. The price at the last minute, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have a good one. How much are your books? Oh, sorry. 25. I think we have 25? Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, I see. I got it. You got to thank you. No problem. Okay, I think I am. Yeah, four books in that little guy. Dollar ten. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Three, four. Yep. I'm actually gonna give you the seventy-five cents back. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Oh, there's another one if you. There's a black one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just had him holding it. Fine. Is it also Jameson? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do with both of them. Okay. Then you want to just give me a quarterback? There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to give you your dime, Tommy, because that was her. Oh, her Ninja her, Turtle. Her <laughs> awesome. Good luck, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. You as well. Hey, good morning. How much are your hats here? $2. Two? Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want a bag? Uh, no, thank you. I got one in my truck. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You guys, good luck. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching that. I hope you guys really enjoy watching what we purchase at garage sales, what we pick up and put down, get a feel for what kind of prices and what kind of stuff that you can find at garage sales here in San Antonio. We did pick up a few things, so we're going to go over that right now. All right, so one of the first items I bought was actually the original. I believe it's 1976, 1979, I'm sorry. The original Play-Doh Dr. Drill and Fill. I don't know if you had a version of this when you were little, but we got this for $3. Looking at sold comps, we can probably sell it for about $15 plus shipping. Of course, the Play-Doh was dry rotted, but it looks like most of the accessories are here. All right, another item I bought at San Grosso for $2, I believe. Or maybe this was three and the Play-Doh was two, but I paid five dollars total for these items. This is Hello Kitty and Friends for the Nintendo DS. I looked it up, sold comps for about ten to twelve dollars on eBay. So I can't put it on there after free shipping and everything. We'll probably make about five dollars on it. But it was there, it was a video game, so I couldn't pass it up. Alright, at one garage sale, I did pick up these two Jameson Irish whiskey and Jameson Black Barrel. They're desk organizers. I got them for 75 cents each. So I think I'm going to put these online. Maybe eventually I'll, if they don't sell, I'll throw them in the antique booth. They're not really antiques, but they're little desk items here that I think would be bought if somebody just walked by them and, and really wanted them. So I haven't really researched what I would put these for. I'll have to take a look. But I'd assume anywhere from $15 to $20 plus shipping. Or it might have to be a free shipping item as well, but we'll see. All right, at another sale we went to, they did have a little box of books for $1. We got two Yu-Gi-Oh! Mangas. They're actually 
the first and the second issue. I bought these because they were actually in really good condition. Of course, they'd still sell as a used book. But as we mentioned before, we are looking to get into Amazon FBA. And when you first get in, before you get ungated in items, when ungated means that you can sell them and they're not restricted, the only thing you're, you're ungated on is used books. So I bought both of these just to give you an idea. They both sell for about 6 to $10 on eBay. There are some random comps up, up to $15. But I looked them both up on Amazon. If you want to buy these used through Amazon Fulfillment, Volume 2 was going for about $10, $15 on its own. But Volume 1 used by itself was going for $35. So that's the reason why sometimes it is better to sell through Amazon. And we do want to diversify our portfolio, so we're always going to switch it up here and there. And the last book we got there was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Somebody I watched Ready, Set, Resell, he always says buy every Harry Potter book you find of their book, buck or two. Once we get a whole set, we can sell them for as much as $40 to $50 as a set on eBay. Or this one used is going for $10 on Amazon. So for me personally, I'm just going to send it into Amazon once we're ready with all the other books and see how it does. But I do have these two packs of Pokemon cards. These are not Pokemon cards. I got this at a garage sale. But these two were actually filled to the brim with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I went through them one by one and I found a bunch of spell cards, trap cards, and monster cards that are first editions. Some cards I found in here that were limited edition, first edition, were selling for as much as $15 individually. Uh, anywhere from $5 individually, $10. I don't know if I'm going to sell them like that or if I'm going to bundle all like the first edition spell cards together and sell all those on an auction and just see how they do. All the first edition monster cards, etc, etc. And then all the, the basic cards I'll probably put in my pile, just see if I can find somebody who's interested in those, or just donate those eventually if I don't find anywhere for them. Alright, at another sale I bought these two Seattle Seahawks, they're both snapbacks. They actually look really nice, I really like the bill on this one, I'm not a Seahawks fan by any means. But I bought paid 2 bucks for each of these, so I think I'm going to sell these as a bundle for $29.99 plus shipping. Or with the weight, I might just do free shipping and make a quick 20 bucks on it. Alright. At another sale, I, I did buy some more books. Uh, these were a little bit more nostalgic. The Princess and the Pauper, or The Prince and the Pauper, The Jungle Book. These are old Disney read-along books. I think I paid 50 cents each or 25 cents and got all these for a dollar. I don't remember exactly. These two were in very good condition, so these are definitely going to be FBA books. These are a little bit older, so I'll have to look them up and see if they do well on eBay or Amazon. Or, since they are nostalgic... And they are a little bit on the older side, 1993, back when I was a kid. Then I might give them to my sister for her kids, but we'll see. So the coolest garage sale we went to, which y'all saw, was the very first one. And I'm glad I went there when I was looking up garage sales. And I read one of the ads for one of them, and they said a baseball card, which is what really turned me on. I ended up just buying one single baseball card from there. Uh, he was actually really cool too. He saw the GoPro, asked if we had a YouTube channel. It ends up being that he actually watches some of the same resale as I do, so that was really cool. And he actually subscribes, so he's our 51st subscriber on the channel. So thank you if you get a chance to watch this. Thank you so much for subscribing. But while we were at his place, we did look around. I asked him if he had any video games or anything because I didn't see anything out. And he ended up being bringing out a couple boxes. So the first box was for a Nintendo Wii. He did, get, he did offer me $20 for this box of Wii stuff. He, I also bought a PS3 from him and he offered that for $10. So that's probably the best deal I've ever gotten on a PS3. So I started reselling. A couple other things I bought from him. He bundled everything up for $30, which is really awesome of him. He was originally offering this old camera for a dollar. I have been buying a lot of cameras lately. I think this is the third week in a row that y'all have seen cameras. We're kind of on a streak of cameras every week. So we'll see. I am working on getting those cleaned up so we can get those listed. Worst case, it's probably just a dollar investment into our whole bundle. Then I might just keep it and save it for whenever we get that antique booth as well. Something that was also in that box with the Wii was this Sega game. It's called Super Off-Road. I'll put this on the shelf with the rest of them and wait till we have something we can work with. All right, like I mentioned, he did also sell me a PS3 as well. There was no HDMI cord, but I play video games on my own, so I do have extra HDMI cord, so... I just need to clean it up, test it if it works, and I can definitely sell this. These sell $70 free shipping, and they weigh a lot. So you're probably looking at about $50 after shipping and after fees. You're probably looking at about $40. So like I said, getting that for $10 was a great deal. So the money I kind of 
lose on the margin on the Wii, I'm gonna make up for it in the margin on this item. So they balanced out. The cool thing is it came with three controllers. I gotta test them. If they all work, I can sell this with a controller and a couple of those uh, cheap games that I have to bundle with that don't sell well on their own. So it's like those DS games I just mentioned. I'll be able to bundle this with a controller. The power adapter, I'll, I'll bundle it with one of the HDMI cables I already have. And then I'll also include a couple of those two, three dollar games that aren't worth selling on their own. I don't remember if I had a camera by then or not. I believe I did. But if you saw me at the Grosso with all those jerseys, I passed on all the jerseys they were offering because they were all knockoffs. And I don't want to say knockoffs because they could be a legitimate company making them. But none of them were licensed. So none of them had the actual team emblems on there. They didn't have any NFL or MLB licensing on there. So that's not something I can sell. So I'm not even a bother. But she did, when I asked about video games, I did buy a couple from her. She did pull out these controllers. There's this little Power A controller. Uh, I have to look up what system it's for. It is for a Sony of some kind. I'd be willing to bet a PS3 based off of there being no cords. So it had to be at least that. There's an OEM original Xbox controller. These sell for about $10.15 on their own. Got them for a dollar. And I believe this is for a PS2. But it's a Mad Cat's Dual Force controller. Again, I didn't look up the value on that. But they were a dollar each. So I just picked them up. Alright, so in the original Wii that I bought that I just mentioned. They did have a couple Wii games. Wii Rock Band and Table Tennis. Rock Band, I didn't look it up. But at that moment I might be able to sell... But for sure, Table Tennis is a $2, $3 game, so that's also going to go on the shelf and use the sell with the bundle. What I did find at that Ladies Garasso with the with those $1 controllers, I found Wii Princess Enchanted Journal. Surprisingly, this goes for about $12, $13. The case is broken up here, but I do have a big stack of no-game cases, even Wii ones. So I'll probably just replace the actual inserts into a clean case and sell it that way. I got that for a dollar. These I also got for a dollar. Madden 08 and NBA Live 2009. Both of these sell for about $10 each. Free shipping so I can make about 5 to $6 on each of these. So I'll definitely clean these up and list them. At that same garage sale where I bought those two Seattle Seahawks hats. They also had an old iPod Nano. It's pink with a wrist strap. I got to see if I can find a charging port for this. So that I can, char I can turn it on. If it does turn on and it does work, it sells for about $50 free shipping. I paid two or three bucks for it. If maybe even less, I might have paid a dollar. But if it does not work, I could still sell it for about $20 free shipping. So either way, I am going to make some money on it, but I'd rather make about $30 to $35 to take home versus $10. All right, guys, so that's what we bought at the garage sales this weekend. We didn't end up with too many items. I run it up here for a new thing I'm doing, a list here of what's bought and what's listed as far as the inventory or resources and listen to make sure that we're knocking out this death pile. This number should always be higher since it is the beginning of the week. Last week we kind of broke even so we didn't do a great job but we did have 45 things we brought in. This was a much smaller week. Of course buying 25 items in one week unless they are spectacular items it's not going to be enough to become a full-time reseller but in these cases, we just want to catch up. If this was a scenario where we had no death pile, then after we, we cleaned up and listed these 25 items, then we'd be spending the week going over to thrift stores, trying to find more inventory to list. Of course, the profit margins are smaller at a thrift store than garage sales, but you have to keep that store growing. So this is something I've been hanging up in my garage the last couple of weeks, just to motivate myself. So hopefully I'll have a good update for you guys next week. So y'all can see just how many items we listed throughout the week. All right, that's going to be the end of this week's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this community. If you enjoy this kind of content and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. It's going to help the channel grow. And if you are a subscriber and you still want to show support and help us grow even more, make sure you hit that like button. The more likes the video gets, the more YouTube pushes it out to other viewers, gives us a chance to get seen more, gain new subscribers. If you guys do see stuff you guys like in these videos, typically the video is aired about two weeks to three weeks after it was actually shot so some of these items might go up for sale before you get a chance to see if you do want to see them sooner you should follow if you go to the description of this video 
I have all the links to my socials. So if you want to go find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, if you see something you like, I'll definitely give you guys a good deal because we aren't selling on eBay and going directly person to person. We can go through PayPal, goods and services, and I can get you guys a good deal versus what I would sell it on eBay. See you guys next week. Peace and love.